Hello, my name is Kainton, and today we are going to talk about Introduction to Entity Framework and MVC. How to use it, and this is tutorial for absolute beginners. I've actually created a, a solution, a project using Entity Framework and MVC, and I'm going to tell you that what you are seeing now was done without writing a single line of code. So let me just show you the page that was created without writing a single line of code. So this is data that was created uh, within Excel. I moved it to SQL and then created this entity framework and MVC application without writing a single line of code. So you can edit, you can uh, back to list, you can you can view the you can delete, you can also create new records and so on and so forth. So entity framework allows you to create something like this without writing a single line of code. But before I start, I would like to tell you exactly what Entity Framework is all about. What is Entity Framework? Entity Framework is a tool, a Microsoft tool, that allows you to map your database tables to .NET classes. So basically, if you have a, a table in your database, you actually map it to classes in .NET. Now, a class is simply a .NET file, so don't worry about it. We are not actually going to write any code. But in case you would like to know a little more, uh, you can have a, something like this. This is a class, and this is a table. So table resides in the database, while classes reside in the .NET files. Classes are written in C Sharp, while database is a table designed maybe with SQL query or whatever, but we are not going to be writing any code. So now, if you have the classes, you can use this class to generate your database table. So if you look at this place, you have string first name, string last name, string country, address city, corresponds to uh, your corresponds to table. You can see corresponds to fields in the table first name, last name, address. Uh, city and country. So that is why this is called ORM, Object Relational Mapping. Now, if you have this class already written or by someone or generated, in this case, we are going to generate it. If you have this class, you can use this class to actually generate a new database table easily. This class will magically create a, a table in your database. Another option is if you have the database table, you can actually use it to generate this class. So when you have this class, this code, and then you use it to generate a database table in your database is called code force. In this case, you have the code and you are using it to generate a database table. The next part is the database force. In this case, you have your table in your database and you are using the table to generate .NET class in your class file or in your C-sharp application is called the database first. In this case, you already have a database and want to generate the class. So that is what is called ORM, Object Relational Mapping. So keep it uh, clearly in your mind. Say it three times, Object Relational Mapping, Object Relational Mapping, Object Relational Mapping. So now, why do we always say Entity Framework and MVC? Now we talk about database tables, we talk about .NET classes. What about the pages that display this data? So this page that displays this data is where the MVC comes into play. So MVC stands for Model, View and Controller. So you use Entity Framework to generate this class, and in this class, in the MVC language, we call it a model, right? We call it a model because it connects with your data. So this, we call it the view, right? Yes, so this is what you want your users to see, and this is what we call view. So MVC manages creating this page for you for free. So if you have your class generated using Entity Framework, and then you have MVC creating this page for free for you without having to write any single line of code. So those are the things you need to know. And then we are going to immediately start doing this uh, uh, using Microsoft uh, 
SQL Server and Visual Studio by easily. So let's get started. And in this tutorial, I'm going to also teach you how to move this file, this uh, table, uh, into create it automatically in SQL Server. We can import this table into SQL Server, and I'll show you exactly how to do that. I have a little time constraint, so let's continue in the next tutorial where we are going to actually use uh, Visual Studio and SQL Server to generate this application that you see here uh, without having to write any line of code. What I want you to do is subscribe. Just click on the subscribe button below to subscribe immediately uh, so that you can uh, get updates. And please leave any question if you have for me, whether it has to do with installing Visual Studio or getting a uh, free uh, SQL Server. I can answer your questions anytime, any day. I'd like to thank you for viewing and let's see in the next tutorial.